Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. This week's episode, as I'm sure you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing a long-term review of the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tire. I know there's a lot of reviews out there already. I've seen them. I, I saw them, watched them before I bought the tire myself. And I just want to uh, follow up on my purchase and just let everyone know how everything's been going with them, what I think of them, what my pros and cons are, and uh, just sort of leave it up to you whether you think they're going to be right for you. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and get on out there, show you what each tire looks like, and uh, just explain how it's worn, what I've used it for, and uh, how I've enjoyed it. All right, out at the truck now. This tire is the back, uh, back right one. I rotate these guys every 5,000 miles, and I've had them for about a year now, so they're due for their second rotation. Um, these started out on the front, moved to the back, as you can tell, 10,000 miles, the last 5,000 of which have been in the back. This ridge is worn very well. Um, you know, all the siping in here is still really solid. Obviously, the uh, secondary tread pattern underneath the blocks or b between them, um, still there. Come over to the front tire on the right. You'll see the, um, oh, maybe not. The sun is a terrible angle. Here we go. Can't quite, yeah, so you'll see this ridging here is not quite as sharp. These have spent the last 5,000 miles on the front. Like I said, I got to get these rotated to the back again. Um, siping is still very much intact. Everything else intact runs great. Come on back here again just to get out of the sun. Um, what I've used them for, basically daily driving on the freeway to and from work. Um, I was actually able to get up to Tahoe in this short winter that we had, put them through the snow, and they were fantastic. They were grippier than the Pro Comp MT2s I was running before. Um, this is really more of a dedicated snow tire than, you know, the mud tires are, and it, it really felt like it. So, as you can see here, um, they are pre-drilled for studs if you needed or wanted to add them. Um, being out in California, I don't, but even without them, especially without them, they were, they were really, really good in the snow. Um, went through a little snow, a little bit of ice and held perfectly strong the whole time as though it wasn't even there. So not, not to say you can just drive as though it's not there. You got to slow down, but, um, having slowed down, it, it stuck perfectly, uh, to the asphalt, to the road. So, um, I guess right now I'll hop right into the pros and cons and uh, leave it up to you in the comments if you have any other questions. So pros for these guys, they are quieter, they roll quieter than the, the mud tires. Um, they really do what you want them to do in terms of grip in you know snow and ice, dirt roads, that type of thing. Um, they, they, these guys for me have really, really excelled in snow and ice. And you know, other than the uh, BF Goodrich, I haven't really seen a whole lot of options for tires this big that are just more of a dedicated, you know, snow and ice option um, for, you know, a tire this size. And I, I've really enjoyed how they've performed. See, so for me, the next pro uh, with these guys is how they've worn. They wear, so far, they've worn in a lot uh, steadier and slower than the, the mud tires. They roll quieter, as you can see. The spacing in here is smaller than a typical mud tire. And because of that, they're a little bit more efficient. I get like 0.3 miles per gallon more. Not much, but you know, it's something. Cons for me, nothing. Again, that's for me. Um, I, I can't think of any cons. I guess they're louder than the stock tire, but if you're going this aggressive with a tire anyway, you won't care. Um, but I, I haven't really found anything that I don't like about it. Um, and I, I really don't anticipate finding anything. They don't hydroplane like my mud tires did. I'm sure they're capable of hydroplaning, but not nearly as easily. So that's just yet another pro. Um, so for me, I couldn't recommend these enough. Um, if you got any questions, comments, different experiences with them, throw them in the comments below. As always, uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, turn notifications on. Thanks for watching.